Well, let's. We've talked about some sleepers. Let's get into compressor sleepers. This one, the DoD Milk Box. Now, this one is one of the cooler ones. There's another one that came after this. It's exactly the same, but they changed all of the uh, names on the the knobs to like dairy oriented uh, things. Like instead of it saying level, it said cream. And instead of saying compression, it said like milk fat percentage or something like that. And so it would like go from skim to whole fat or something like that. And then they created like a design that looked like, you know, the pigment on a cow. This is the cooler looking one. They're both exactly the same. Now, the thing that people don't know about the DOD milk box is that DOD and I think they were all owned by Harman at one point. DBX, which is the company that made the compressor that everybody used in the 80s and 90s, all the Michael Jackson stuff, all that was all done on a DBX. Well, this was designed by the DBX guys. So this has a DBX style compression circuit and it sounds incredible. If you like that classic kind of 80s compression, the Michael Jackson kind of Paul Jackson Jr. thing, this is the compressor for that. It does it better than anything, and I actually recently shot it out against all kind of the DBX style clones that are out there. This is still by far the best, and the person that told me about this was actually Michael Thompson. And the only reason why he stopped using it <laughs> is that he had a big gig, or I think it was for the Grammys, when Celine Dion had sung the theme song for Titanic. And they were had to do this fast stage change. And as soon as they churned over the stage and they were supposed to, you know, enter in with the, you know, the chorus section of the song, uh, the milk box, I guess, apparently took a dive and he had to go directly into the amp. And so he was afraid to use it anymore. And so that's the reason why he stopped. But a lot of those early records, Michael Thompson was using the milk box. Let's hear what that sounds like. I'm going to set everything to, to noon here. I actually uh, loaned my other one to Mejia. So he's got the other milk box sitting at his house. But this thing is pretty, pretty tight. I'm, I'm a huge fan of this. Let's get our uh, clean reference. I was looking for a guitar pick, but there it is. So clean reference. <laughs> Super dynamic in It's great for that kind of Michael Jackson stuff, it's like incredible. It like nails that, the, just the, the snap of it. Definitely does a great job for that sort of stuff. All the funk stuff does a really excellent job for. I think that this is the one of the best sounding compressors. I'm actually building an 80s rig where I kind of wanted to get a DBX style compressor on. This is the one I'm going to use because it just does so well at holding in those notes. It's really very musical, sounds great. I just got this one on reverb for, I got it for like 80 bucks, something like that. Everybody's sleeping on these. This is like a DBX in a box. Sounds great. Pretty low noise floor right now. The guitar is just sitting there. It's not out of control. Very, very good compressor. Highly recommend it. And if, you, if you're willing to get the ones with the, uh, the cow udders or whatever it is on there, it, it, won't, it, it looks the same colorway, but it looks a little sillier. But still the exact same pedal. 80 bucks for these like all day long or less. So definitely check out the milk box compressor.